Hika, hika, hika. Hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'm going to be showing you on how to convert a VRM file to Wadado Avatar. That way, you can be able to have some custom shaders, custom animations, and all this crazy custom stuff for your VTuber avatar in Wadado. So, before we get started, though, please make sure that you check out the Wadado SDK installation tutorial as it will show you on how to install the Wadado SDK if you are brand new to. To the whole Wado SDK stuff. But otherwise, if you already know how to set that up, then by all means, we can continue on with this tutorial. Now, in order, of course, for us to continue with this tutorial, we do need a VRM file. So if you are a Roid user, you have like a VRM file on hand or anything like that, you can, of course, follow along with this tutorial. If you are using an SBX file or anything like that. I have another tutorial that goes over how to do SBX to Wado Avatar. So check out that tutorial instead. But for this case, I'm going to be using my lovely TestChan model for this demonstration. You can actually download TestChan and TestKun in the description below if you want to use those models for studying purposes. But before we import our VRM file, what we need to do is go into Wadado. Then we're going to make a new mod. I'm going to name this my Void model or my VRM model actually. Then we're going to go ahead and create mod. Then what you're going to do is you're going to then click and drag your VRM file into this folder here and then give it some time for Unity to process. Note that the Wadado SDK already has a VRM plugin in here so you don't have to import your own Uni VRM version. It already has one installed with the SDK. You just put your VRM file in, give it some time and it'll process. So once you have your VRM file imported, what you're going to then do is click and drag your VRM file to the hierarchy. And once you have that, you can pretty much do all the custom stuff that you want with your setup. Because since we already have our humanoid rig, we don't have to set up the FBX related settings. Because all of that is already, you know, set up with VRM. You know, everything, all good. You can pretty much get straight into just putting all your custom stuff in. So if you are someone that wants to use something like Poyomi or Lil Toon Shader or Real Toon or any shader that, you know, any custom shader that you want, you can of course do that simply just by importing the Poyomi or custom shader into Unity. So here I have Poyomi right here. I can simply just click and drag it here. This applies to any other custom shader like Lil Toon or anything like that. You just click and drag, import it, and give it some time to import. And from there, you can of course add all your stuff. Even if you're someone who have custom coded their own shader, you can of course use that as long as it works with the built-in render pipeline. If you're using a shader made for universal rendering pipeline or URP or even HDRP shaders, they sadly do not work with Wadado. Now for URP, you will have to become a Wadado Pro user. You can contact Tiger for more information about Wadado Pro, but sadly, you know, just keep in mind, you can't use URP or HDRP shaders, but for the most part, like, most of the shaders we're probably going to use are, you know, shaders from VR chat or anything like that, just to keep it simple. So, I can go ahead here, I can select all of my materials, and I can simply set it to Poyomi, so Poyomi, set it to the tune, and simply switch it over to Poyomi shader if I want. Now, of course, for the sake of this tutorial, I won't be setting up Poyomi manually, but just to show you though, that yes, you can start adding your custom shaders if you want. The other thing that you can also do, of course, is you can replace your current physics. So instead of VRM spring bone, you can change it to magic a cloth or dynamic bones and stuff. Now you can't use VR chat fizz bones. You can't. Blame VR chat copyright for disallowing that. And, you know, other v VTuber devs, they can't use Fizzbones for their, you know, for their code. So, if you happen to have put in Fizzbones from VR chat over to your avatar, just note that Wadado will force it to be dynamic bones. So, there will be some difference in the physics quality, but otherwise... If you want something closest to Fizzbones, but for VTubers, please use Magicka Cloth. There's angle limitation, there's cloth, there's interpolation with your physics. You could do a lot of crazy stuff with your, you know, physics. So just keep that in mind for physics-wise stuff. You can add those sort of things, but you can't add VRChat Fizzbones. Sorry to break the news to you. 
Another thing you can of course add as well, which I'm actually going to do with the test chan, is you can add particle systems. So if you want to add like a little particle that is with your model, you can of course add some particles into your model. So I can have it here, I can just adjust it around and all that. You know, I'll probably have it all the way up here just, you know, for demonstration purposes that it does work with custom stuff. But yeah, just keep that in mind. You can add particles if you want. You can even, of course, add constraints as well. So if you have twist bones or anything like that, you can, of, of course, add constraints. Whatever you want. And if you are, if you have experience with VR chat, you can pretty much almost, there's some things you can't copy, like the fizz bones or the VR chat SDK related components. But for like shaders or your constraints or anything like that, something that is native to Unity, you should be able to add that with ease. So just keep that in mind about that. But otherwise, you know, you can add all their custom stuff that you want. I will also mention as well, now this tutorial is not going to cover over the animation that will be for a different tutorial though. But I will mention though that yes, you can have custom animations. So your animator here, you can add like a controller and all that. And you could do some non-humanoid animations with your avatar or stuff like that. You know, if you, if you want some custom animations specifically for this avatar, you can do that. But for the sake of this tutorial, it's not going to have it. But you can check in the description below for the animation like for how you do humanoid animation for water dough and then how you will do non-humanoid animations for water dough as well so just keep an eye out for you know keep an eye out for those tutorials in the description but otherwise though i just wanted to at least give you some further explanation you know regarding like hey you can add all this custom stuff but either way though let me actually go ahead then i'm gonna set the shirt actually and the shoes and the shorts here i'm gonna actually set this to poyomi just so i can make sure to tell that this is you know this is poyomi just because of the fact there's no shadow here but either way once you have all your stuff set up for your avatar what you're going to then do is you're going to select your model, you're going to go into Wadado and click on Setup Character. Now, if you're VRM, you'll see that the normalized bones are set to true. If you're an FBX model, obviously it's going to say false, but for this case, this is great because we can utilize VRM's normalization, which allows us to have less issues, which is awesome. So go ahead and click on Setup Selected Game Object as Character Mod, and you can click on OK. Now, this is one mistake I accidentally just did. Now, usually I would personally recommend, by the way, I'll say this right now, I personally recommend having a duplicate of the model in the hierarchy. So you'll have your original VRM here and you can set up all your stuff, right? You know, all your, you know, your particles and all that other stuff. But I definitely recommend if you're going to be updating them all quite often, I definitely recommend having like a duplicate just in case. But otherwise you should be fine, honestly, if you, you know, didn't do a duplicate just as a backup, you know, you should be fine regardless. But you know, it kind of depends on what you're going to be doing with your avatar, but either way, you'll have your character set up, and once you have that, what you're going to then do is you're going to go into Wadado, Mod Settings, and you can set up your settings accordingly. I will call this Test Chan Test, just so it doesn't, you know, interfere with, actually, I'll, I'll name this Test VRM just so it doesn't interfere with my actual test chan model. I'll put my name here. You can set the description to whatever you want. I can set up a profile here like so. And the mod assets should already be set up for you, but the mod export directory will not be. So I would recommend changing that to be in the streaming assets folder of your Wadado data. So, and in the characters folder, so you can pause the video and check for this file pass, but otherwise a quick way to access this file pass is by clicking on the Wadado editor, so make sure Wadado is open, click on the paw, then click on open data folder, and then you're going to be able to access your files here, and you can simply just go to the characters folder, copy, you know, double click here, copy, control C, and then control V over here, but I also recommend as well going to the Wadado data folder here, right click on streaming assets and pin to quick access this will help you make it more convenient to access this folder anytime especially if you're going to do a lot of conversions over and over and over again and such like that so just keep that in mind but otherwise i'm going to click on select folder then what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on water dough then i'm going to build the mod and then i'm going to save and then give it some time for it to process the model 
And once you finish exploring the mall, what you're going to then do is you're going to go to character, then you're going to go to source, and then you should be able to have your files updated. So for my case, I put in test VRM so I can be able to click on that. And then my lovely test chan is here. And you can tell Poyomi is there because there's no shadows on the outfit. And then, of course, the particles in the freaking sky. So yes, that's proof that it does work, as you can see. And hopefully that should help you out on being able to convert your VRM file to Wadado Avatar so you can be able to have access to crazy custom stuff. And again, if you want to access this test model, you know, for studying purposes, or you can become Test Chan as a VTuber, or there's Test Coon. You can, of course, download these models completely for free. You can even take the assets. I don't care. Just use these models. Study it. Study well. And... Either way, I just hope that this tutorial helps you out. If you have any other issues regarding, you know, converting your model into a Wadado avatar, feel free to join the, the Wadado Discord server. You know, I'm there, as well as the dev and many other p helpers who are really, really smart big nerds over there that are willing to help you out with your Wadado setup. So feel free to come on by. You can learn a lot more in that server. And otherwise, though, let me know if you have any other issues. Otherwise, hope you have a lovely day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye! Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership, so if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise, though, just your support means so much to me, and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way, though, with that being said, though, hey, 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 goodbye, bye, everyone. I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye, bye.